Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to back again for another episode. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to hook up a Elgato HD 60S to your Nintendo Switch and, you know, start live streaming, recording, do whatever you want with a Nintendo Switch. So let's get right into it. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and go over to the Elgato website, elgato.com forward slash em forward slash gaming forward slash downloads. I'll leave a link in the description so you can go ahead and just click it. Go here and then you want to find this game capture for Windows and then you want to download the latest version. Uh, if you're using Mac, download the Mac one. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to go ahead and slap on that. Uh, and then it'll start downloading down here. Um, like everything, if you're using Chrome or if you're using Firefox or Internet Explorer, it'll start downloading where you want it. I'm using Chrome, so it's going to start downloading from the bottom. All right, once it's finished downloading, all you have to do is go ahead and click it, and it should start running the installer. Boom, this will pop up right here. Security warning, yeah, whatever, run. Uh, it's just saying, hey, do you, can it make changes or whatever? Too easy. Next, hit next. Accept all of the license agreements. Help improve. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to hit next. I'll get a sound capture. Sure, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And let's just go ahead and install it on a C drive, because why not? You can choose to install it wherever you would like. Go ahead and hit yes uh, on the screen that pops up. That's why it's black there for a second. You have to hit yes again. And then it'll go ahead and install. All right, boom. Elgato Game Capture HD right here. And here we go. So the Elgato HD has, uh, I've already plugged it into my Switch, but I'm about to show you how to do that right now. Okay, so first off, start off with your Nintendo Switch dock. I'm using the one that came with the Switch, but you can use pretty much any dock that you would like. Go ahead and open it up. Like always, connect your power. It's got to have power. And then connect your HDMI cable. Now, once you have your Switch and your HDMI cable, you want to take your HDMI cable that you just plugged into your Switch dock, and I'm using the HD60X. Like I said, this works with uh, all the other Elgatos, though. So you want to take it, you want to plug it into the in input right here where the headphone jack, HDMI, and USB-C adapter is. So plug the HDMI cord from the switch dock over to the Elgato, and then take your power cord and plug that power cord into your computer, whatever computer you're using. Don't mind the setup right now. I'm getting my desk painted, so my setup is really, really garbage right now, but don't, don't mind that. And then you want to take the other HDMI slot on this side, all right, you want to take this HDMI, the out, and you want to take it and you want to plug it into the actual monitor that you're going to be gaming off of, all right? So once you have the, the HDMI cord plugged into the gaming monitor you're going to be using, it's pretty simple. You just attach your switch to your dock and then turn on your TV, all right? So I have my page right here pulled up and then if you already have it connected to your computer, it should... Go ahead and pop up just like it is here. All right, so now that you have your Switch connected to your TV and your Elgato connected to your computer and everything's set up, you'll be seeing this window right here. I'm going to go ahead and maximize that for you. You'll be seeing this window right here. Now, if you're trying to play with a Switch, do anything with a Switch, go ahead and hit the settings button over here. Go ahead and change that input, not to a Wii U, but change that input to a Nintendo Switch and have your audio, whichever one you want. If you're using analog, H I'm just going to use the HDMI. Uh, I'm going to use the standard color range. I'm going to allow 60 FPS because my computer can handle it. If you, Some computers can't handle it. It's whatever whatever setting you want. I'm going to do 1080. My computer can handle all of these settings, but some can't. I'm going to adjust this quality to the best. My computer can handle it. Uh, and you can go over here and convert some of these if you would like. Uh, I don't want it to be stretched or anything, but I am going to allow 60 FPS. So I'm going to hit, hit OK. And too easy. And there's some more settings you might want to go into where you would want your videos to be captured at. Here is probably going to be something that you might need to change, the decoder and encoder. It might be set up automatically, something different on yours. But mine right now is set up for the best, best what I can do, highest quality, best performance. Uh, I'm going to push that high quality over just a little bit because my computer, my computer can handle it. And then just hit OK. One moment, please. And boom, there you are. It, uh... You're pretty much ready to go. All right, and if you want to start live streaming on Twitch or YouTube, all you have to do is go over here to this live streaming uh, and hit add over here and then click the streaming that you're trying to use, YouTube, Twitch, all that good stuff, and then it'll automatically open up a login screen for that service, and then you'll just log in and then click confirm that you would like to use their service. All you have to do is go and hit record too easy. I'm recording, so anything that I do on my Switch will pop up uh, the same way over here. And then just hit stop recording. 
it'll stop recording and then you can go over to edit and there's my thing that I just captured uh, you can go in cut it split it do whatever you need to it just right here instant edits or you can go through and actually drop it over to a video editing software they have on your computer or you can just edit right here so that's how you set up and use an Elgato HD60S. It does work with the other older Elgato system, but hey, if you've got a HD60S and want to play your Switch, start recording or live streaming, that's how you do it. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time.